Hi, my name is Christina Chase, and this video is for little ones. It's about God. I, little and funny looking person that I am, want to try to make it a little easier to talk about God, faith, religion, in words that are simpler to understand. So all of you mature grown-ups out there don't need to watch any further if you don't want to. Maybe you, little one, have heard people talk about God, maybe in church or somewhere, and you've wondered, who is God? God made you. God is your creator. God created you. God made everything. God created everything. When there was nothing before anything ever was, there was God. God is eternal. That means that God has no beginning and no end. God just always is. God is spirit. Spirit is invisible, which means that we can't see spirit. We can't see God with our eyes, but we can see what God does. Think about the wind. Can you see the wind, little one? Mm, not really. You can see the leaves fluttering on the trees and even the trees themselves bending and swaying. And then you know that the wind is blowing. You don't see the wind, but you see what the wind does. And you know the wind is there. Well, God is like that. We can't see God with our eyes, but we can see what God does because we can see everything that God has created. So whenever we see the trees and the birds, the grass and the bugs, the sun, the moon and stars, whenever we see people and cats and creatures of all kinds, then we know that God is, that God is here. You may wonder, well, where is God? God is everywhere. God is infinite. That's another fancy way of saying that God has no beginning and no end. There is no place, no place that you can even imagine where God isn't. God is everywhere, but sometimes we forget this. If we care only about ourselves, you know, me, 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 and we don't care about anybody else, then it's like we turn away from all that God has created. And it's like we're turning our backs on God. And that's not right. God made us. Then again, we can't really take ourselves away from God because God is everywhere. God is always here. We can only pretend that God doesn't exist or maybe ignore God, but it doesn't change the fact that God is. And you may also be wondering, well, why should I care about God? Because God cares about you. God made you. God didn't have to create anything but God chose to create the whole universe, the whole world. God chose to create me and God chose to create you because God loves you and God wants you to be here. As you grow, you'll learn why God may want you to be here. All the special gifts that he's given you, things that you can do that nobody else can, little things that make a really big difference in the world. Even if we can't see it, we know. That's why God created you. And to you, dear little one, I mean to God, to God, dear little one, you, you are always beautiful in the eyes of God. And did you know that you can talk to God? That's what prayers are for. You can tell God anything any time. Whenever I'm happy, I'm having fun, or I see something beautiful, I like to talk to God and say, thank you. Thank you for creating this. 
Thank you for creating me. And whenever I am hurt or sad or scared or upset, then I talk to God and I ask God to please comfort me, knowing that God is always here and that God loves me forever. Well, that can help me feel a little better sometimes. There's so much to learn about life, little one, and so much to learn about God. But the most important thing to know is that God created you and that God loves you now and forever. So that's all for this video. I'd like to say a special hello to Jada. Hi, Jada. I talk to God about you every day and I say thank you. Okay then, until my next video, peace. Pax Christie.